What up, what up, what up, what up, it's a wake him back again. Nadiere representing Mr. K Money Capital. And today we have some enticing news. Look at that, guys. Wah, 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 wah. The entire pump since uh, July 21st, remember that's when the pump started last year, has been wiped out in a matter of, uh, let's see how many days it is. Because this is crazy, guys. In just one month and, uh, yeah, in just 37 days, one month and one week, just one month and one week, we have wiped an entire pump for a whole year in one month, one week. So, guys, when you're asking what's the risk in crypto, this is one of the biggest risks, which is called volatility. This is the price you have to pay for you to enjoy these types of returns in one month because this was a hooping, let's see, since started pumping at around $2, this is a hooping 24x. Right? Yeah. At, in 21st, when it was started pumping, the price, the price was at um, five dollars. Went all the way to one twenty dollars. Now a clean 24x for investors, and now price is getting back exactly to where it all started at five dollars, which is pretty much interesting and uh, amazing for investors, right? For traders as well, it's a very enticing um, day. You see, the, the whole week, the entire week, if you were on shorts, immediately we broke this long-term uh, support. This shot was a valid shot. This was a clean, clean, clean shot. And right now, uh, we have taken profit there, 57% of the first uh, option for profit. And then again, uh, uh, added more positions to give you a hundred, almost get it to a hundred percent. See if we get to less than a dollar, we get to a hundred percent in position. But right now it's around 84. Uh, it has dumped, so that means Luna has dumped 85 percent in just uh, two days. Wow, that is history, guys. This is history. Look at what Luna is doing. Dumped 60 percent yesterday. <laughs> I, I, I. This is history, guys. And you see, Luna is not a just any other altcoin. It's a blue chip. It's worth $20 billion. What is the network right now? The market cap right now is $4.6 billion. Can you imagine, guys? From, from a $20 billion market cap to $4.6 billion. That's how people are have lost hope for Luna. I hope, guys, everything is going to change soon. This is not a very enticing uh, chart to look at. This is so, 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 so. In fact, let me just take a screenshot because now I don't understand how I can see green bubble. You see? Um, yeah. Wow, wow. So, uh, that was Luna, that was immediate. We had to check that out because now it's uh, on our radar. Then look at the USD peg right now at 0 0.81. This is what's exactly contributing to the Luna. So, what people are doing, people are redeeming their USD for Luna. Okay, remember when USD is equal to one Luna? So, you can convert your USD to Luna. Then, People now are selling of Luna. Why? Because we found that reason very, very, very adamant here. Very clear. 200 get liquidated market. Netwanyesha now come back. Wow. So, this is a post of me today. Is this the. Um, yeah, so this is the reason. So, Citadel borrows 100 KBDC, trades 25 KBDC for USD. Okay? Opens a short. On Luna, right? So they buy 25 PTC for USD and then opens a short for Luna and then the short uh, for USD, sorry, 
Now when they open a shot for USD, that meant now that people will be they uh, created a lot of supply for USD in the market, and when people and there's a lot of supply, what happens? The market uh, the the price drops, and then that's when the betting starts, and then starts dumping 75k BTC aggressively. So you can imagine. Once they started, uh, uh, when they opened a shot of BTC, and of course that meant now the price of BTC is going down. And remember, BTC is the reserve um, asset for USD. So once it started dumping, and the USD uh, USD peg broke, the only solution that uh, Luna had was to sell off their BTC reserves to be able to buy out USD so that they can stabilize it. But then it was too late and the uh, uh, panic selling started remember the fear green index was at 11 at, at as at this point right now i think it's almost five <laughs> or less than 10. so once we decided reached that k they started dumping usd to make it lose its back okay so now corn is close to sell 25 BTC as a major loss to recover the back yeah because they bought at an average price of around um 35 35 yeah 35 thousand so at this point, it's at 30,000. They have to sell, right? Tamija loss to recover the back further dumping the price. So, yeah, of course, now dumping 25k to BTC to the market again, that makes the market tanking. But that's why we saw that huge uh, week to, to 29,000. Meanwhile, Citadel is running all the way. So they have to cover this. And you know, they cannot keep playing this game with the Wall Street because these guys have more funding than they have. And they can, it's going to be hurting for them. Yeah, so guys, uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it of what, uh, and you can see the USD, USD, the USD peg is continuing to fall. We are now 0 0.779 cents, which means now if you continue seeing this red candle kind of on the daily time frame, it's gonna be, and it's falling at a fast pace. Wow. Well, this is not sweet. This is not sweet at all. At all investors everyone is panicking you can see the qqq the nasdaq everything is booming but what is happening to bitcoin bitcoin is also increasing in value you can see at least the first two days we are trying to you know cover up this huge drop that was uh, made i mean um, by citadel the short by citadel there's a small recovery but luna is crashing like no man's business can see it very clearly right there. We have already got into ten dollars. USD peg is falling to zero. We already got into the 70, 70s region. And this is not a nice thing at all. At all. Oh my God. Wow. But now this is a very huge opportunity, guys. For those who have money, this is a very good arbitrage opportunity. If you still believe in USD, you can buy USD at 0 0.79 right now, super cheap. When the bag goes back to one dollar, you can you'll have more USD in your bag and you can sell it for profit. But this one only applies for those who have money. Uh huge money, huge amount of money. So today we're expecting news at around 4 p.m. It is 30 p.m. The CPI month by month, which means we wanna know this month how much uh inflation are we expecting. This is the consumer price index, so we basically measuring the inflation. And you can see the actual is one point two and the focus is one point two, so they don't expect any change. Uh, of course, it's going to affect the market. The core CPI, which is uh, the consumer price index, excluding uh, the food and energy, right? Then tomorrow is when we have the CPI, which is the price uh, purchase purchase price index, which is basically the for this one is for uh, manufacturers, right? So it's basically change of price by finished goods sold by. The focus on is one of the main drivers of this, and this is because of the um, supply chain issues from China right now with the COVID thing, and of course the employment claims, which measures how many people have been uh, out of employment who are claiming for their unemployment insurance. As you can see, the focus right here is 
uh, 180k from the actual 200k, which means the deduction in unemployment claims which is good for the month. Then on Friday, lastly, we're going to have import prices month by month. Of course, this is expected to reduce because uh, of the supply issues. You can see the actual right there. The forecast is also expected to reduce because of the supply issues in China again. That is not good for the market. So, what next? Let's look at CoinGecko. Of course, uh, come here, collect some candies as usual, guys. Always make sure to collect your candies. Right? And then, we check out the 24 hour volume. I know Luna is at the top here, right there, number 4. At 10 billion. Can you remember? 24 hour volume of Luna right now is more than the market cap. What does that tell you, guys? That tells you right, right now there's a lot of volume in Luna. Seven days it has dumped 86%. Crazy. Uh, dumped 60% in the past 24 hours, and in the past one hour it has dumped 17%. This is how crazy. Uh, this is how crazy things are right now with Luna. And you can see also the market cap for USD right here has dumped all the way from 18 billion to 13 billion with a 4.4 this is gonna be the make or break moment for Luna, which is also making us and uh, you see we have already gotten below 1.5 billion. We had 1.48 billion in market capitalization of all cryptos. 170 billion trading our volume, of course, there's a lot of shots in the market, and Bitcoin dominance is still strong at 40k, 40-40%. So that's pretty much it. Uh also remember guys to collect the diamonds on the market cap. Bitcoin market cap always has delays, guys. Let me just collect some diamonds here. At least I get to a thousand diamonds, and I'm cool. I believe one will be a, a dollar. That will be fine, right? Yeah, so what news are we expecting? Let's check out Luna Crash. Uh, let me just refresh that. Let me just refresh. I'm sorry, these are the places we get information, guys. So Always, 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 always check out on that. I still lose you. I love you. Wow, so Vitin Foundation and this 1.2 billion crypto treasury, but just 4 billion is one. Okay, New York. Is an app where I can monitor protocols for the truth. Mayhem, token creator, Coinbase has never been bullish. And Godzilla suggests investors of the market plans that are not a strategy. The company they had an average buyout price for Bitcoin at 30k, and uh, right now Bitcoin is going below 30k. And my Godzilla told his investors, don't worry, because the only loan we have that is gonna that's putting at us risk. Will only get liquidated when a uh, price of Bitcoin goes to the 500. So as long as Bitcoin is above the 500, uh, microservice is safe. And this is why people think microservice like the is a, is nuts, because he only invests in Bitcoin and he's promised not never to sell it. So that's crazy. I think he is happy when Bitcoin is getting below that k. So that when Bitcoin can even get to 20k. He'll be the one buying. He's now looking for more funding to buy. Because now it is going to reduce his buying price from 30k to at least 25,000, which is crazy. When he gets to 10k, he also buys more. He uh, reduces his buying price from um, at 25k to 20k, which is crazy. So now you can see the USD peg is still breaking further. Uh, and you can see Loon is also dumping like crazy. So let's exp uh, let's wait for the news today because these news that are happening today are very crucial. As you can see here in the calendar, the uh, the CPI, which is more emission um, inflation, very very core. Of course, no change that is anticipated, but I believe it's going to affect the market either positively or negatively. But from what I'm seeing, because we need a very strong support, we're going to see a bounce off coming to this trend line at around that 5k before we go further down. Which is gonna be a nice relief bond for us, but not for Luna. So it's gonna be sad for Luna, guys. Luna, hold us, hold on, tears, and make sure to never panic. So, hold on for your dear life, hold on and weep. Welcome to the crypto world.
So guys, make sure you hit that subscription bell, yeah. not notification bell right there. And check me out on Twitter, uh, TikTok, and uh, other social media platforms at like Capital. Let's engage more. Let me know what you want me to talk about in the comment section below. See ya, when you see.